Hi guys, this is Madhika Raj and you're watching me on Nabs Entertainment. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Suit Up, the celebrity chat show presented by Nabs Entertainment. My name is Abhishek and today we have someone very special with us. We have met this person way back in Kabhi Khushi Kabhi Gaum as a child actress and today we are meeting her as a very beautiful, very talented young star, Malvika Raj. How are you? Hi Abhishek, thank you so much for the introduction. I'm good. Perfect. Malvika, how has lockdown been going from you? Uh, I, I am asking this question to everyone basically. So, how has lockdown been for you? Um, initially, it was um, very exciting and interesting because it was like a vacation in my own house. Um, nonetheless, I never stopped my workouts. But um, it was fun in the start, but then later it got very monotonous. I, um, it was getting on to me because I'm so used to working since the age of 16, 17 that sitting at home and doing nothing was, it was, I, I had ants in my pants. And um, so I actually started uh, something very different and uh, unique, very different from what I actually do. I had started baking and um, one day I felt like eating a quiche. So I made a quiche for myself and I posted a picture on my Instagram and it turned out to be so awesome that today I literally have a business of it and it's doing so well. So I, I have, a, great, I, I have a, a, a home chef uh, page on my Instagram which is called uh, Quiches by Malvika and it's, it's doing pretty well. At least I'm busy. Yeah, that, that's good. Uh, we have been following your Instagram basically. So we saw those pictures and it's good to yeah. know that it tasted pretty well too. Yeah, it, it, it was tasting so good. I was like, wow, I'm, I'm really good at baking. <laughs> that's something new I invented about myself in this lockdown. Perfect, perfect. We all are. Uh, uh, Malvika, so all set for your big Bollywood debut. We have seen some articles that you are all ready yes. for your big launch. Uh, so yes, we are. How did this come across? How did this project happen? What made you sign the film? So take us through that. So I was actually waiting for something exciting to come to me to launch myself and to do my first Bollywood film because it's a huge thing. Your first film really is important. And uh, when Nilesh Sahai, our director, he saw my pictures on Instagram and he contacted my dad saying that I want to meet Malvika for uh, Arya's character and um, we met up he set an audition I auditioned for the part and I got it perfect so what did you like about the project I mean uh, can you tell us a little about the story so I love action films I love watching action films I love doing action I've always been like a, a, a tomboy since I'm a child and um, <laughs> This film, our action director is Kier Beck, who is the action director of Matrix and Mad Max Fury and all these films. So um, that really attracted me to, you know, learn something from him. And it, it's something different to do. What you'll be seeing in this film, it, it's very, um, it's close to a Hollywood project. And the action and the direction, everything is, it's larger than life. And it's something huge you're going to see in uh, our screen this time. Okay. So action is what attracted me to this project. You are starring opposite Rinzing Denzopa, right? He's yeah. also making his debut. We know that you guys are school friends. So how did that yeah. chemistry Which childhood out? friends? Yeah. Which childhood so friends? Even before school, which childhood friends? He was uh, uh, with my cousin brother, Anita Bua's son. Uh, with Shivam. He, he and Shivam were in the same batch. So um, we know each other since then. We've been for each other's uh, birthday parties. We still have pictures and they're hilarious. But uh, because I know him, uh, the comfort zone is already there with Rinsing. You don't have to put in that little extra effort. And Rinsing as a person is, he's so humble. He's so sweet. He'll just make anyone and everyone comfortable on set. So, um, it was a great, uh, it was a great time. We both had a blast. We both connect on so many things. Uh, food 
being number one. We only discuss food all the time, like what we're going to eat and uh, which restaurants are good. We're both obsessed with Japanese food. So, uh, yeah, if you have rinsing with you on set, you're going to eat a lot of good food. <laughs> oh, so, we'll see that chemistry on screen, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> Though it's an action film, it's not really a romantic uh, project. We have, like... A song or two, a very few scenes, but it's it's on a mission, our full film, which is which is main. So, okay, so the mission is main. So very less time to do song and dance. <laughs> we have, we, I have, we have our songs, we have our dance, we have maybe five percent of romance on the full film. That's it. That's it. <laughs> It's all right, all right. Uh, so, uh, Malvika, we read a lot of articles when, when we were doing our research on you. A lot of them focused on how you are a ready-made star. I mean, you already look like a star. You know how to carry yourself. Uh, so, what do you have to say regarding that? Wow, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> That's what I would like to say, firstly. But... Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How can I talk? How can I uh, praise myself now? Yeah, come on, give yeah. me that. You can you praise, can praise me, I don't mind. Yeah, you are stunning. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so, we can be like those articles too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Technically, Malvika, your debut was with Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gum, right? Uh, that's right. when people saw you teasing a young version of Rithik Roshan <laughs> and you do stuff. So, uh, tell me, do you recall about the experience there? I mean, with these big stars, a kid like you on set? I mean, I was really young that time. So, it didn't hit me that I'm actually working and sharing screen space with such humongous stars that today I realized what I was with. But uh, even then, one thing that they taught me was always be humble and grounded. These guys being such extraordinary superstars never let me feel like they were, you know, like Shah Rukh Khan and Amitabh Bachchan and all these, uh, you know, they're like, they're legends today. And um, so they were really humble, very sweet, so down to earth, made me feel like one of them at that young age. So um, yeah, that's something I learned from them and I'll always cherish my memories of K3G. Of course. So uh, Malvika, we also heard that you were doing uh, a film called Captain Nawab with Imran Hashmi, I believe. So yes, any update yes. on that project? What what happened there? The film is shelved. The film is shelved. It was about India, Pakistan, and we didn't get permission. It was very complicated, the whole thing. So the project only got shelved. Oh, we hardly so had one or two days of shoot. That's it. Exactly. Oh, it was a very good script though. Yeah, the pairing also was very fresh. I mean, Imran, yeah. you <laughs> yeah. perfect. <laughs> Great. So, Malvika, moving on to the next section. These were our questions. But now we are going to throw some audience questions to you. Uh, so, we use this platform as a, a medium to know uh, to know our stars a little more personally, basically. All right? Sure. So, sure. we opened up this platform to some of our audience, some of your followers. And we have uh, got some questions that, that we want to throw at you. So, you're ready? Go for it. Perfect. Great. Awesome. So, uh, the topmost question was that you look like Karishma Kapoor. I mean, <laughs> there were, I think, more than 20, 30 entries there that she looks like Karishma Kapoor. So, do you feel that you look like Karishma Kapoor by any chance? So, I get that a lot on my Instagram comment section. A lot of them keep asking me this question too. I mean, she's my favorite actress. Dil to Pagal has been one of my favorite films and... Karishma being the prime reason why. So, uh, comparing me to her that I look like her is it's super flattering. I think she's stunning. So, thank you guys. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so which is the last TV series that you have watched or are currently binging on? Uh, on Netflix, I saw Dark and I really liked it. I saw You. Uh, two okay. seasons of them are already there. In Hindi, I recently saw uh, Bandish Bandit 
on Amazon Bandit, Prime. Bandit, Bandit. I think it was fab. I mean, I I I started. I enjoyed the classical version of music so much that I actually right. downloaded uh, Auto Tune on my phone, trying to see how well I sing. It's shit even then, <laughs> but it really it let that impact on me that I actually downloaded Auto Tune to see how I sing. So I really enjoyed watching that series. Perfect. So, on a related note, what is a current song that you can't get enough of that you're listening to on loop? I think it would be uh, "Yummy" of Justin Bieber. Yeah. Uh, that and "Dancing uh, Dance Monkey," and mm. um, which is the other song the other day I was listening to. I loved it. "Mama Sita, Mama Sita." Mama Sita. All right. I was loving that too. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So next question is: Do you have a best friend in the industry from the industry? Um, I would probably say my sister is my best friend from the industry. Oh, she's my best friend anyway, and she is from the ah. fashion industry. So, Sonakshi. So, so Malvika, the next popular question is the kind of roles that you want to pursue. So, as a young star, you're just starting off right now. So, uh, do you have a plan in mind that these are the kind of roles that you that you want to pursue in the future? Uh, I believe a performance-oriented role would attract me a lot to take up um, a script where I have a new skill, or uh, maybe a, I'm learning an instrument, or uh, like in Squad, um, I learn how to use a sniper rifle, how to how to play with uh, uh, guns and bombs and everything because the that's what the script demanded i'm playing a sniper in the film so how to use a proper vss gun is uh, what i'm what you'll watching me what you'll be watching me do in squad so um, yeah i believe uh, a good performance oriented film would attract me a lot to <clears throat> pursue it okay. roles to ho gaya of director or actor ki baat karte hai. do you have a director or an actor jiske sath aapko bahut matlab you really want to work with so i am a big sanjay neela bansali fan i love watching his films um every shot of his film is so beautifully picturized and my favorite actor is ranveer kapoor i think he is phenomenal and um, I, i just feel he so naturally plays out all his characters be it a parvi or a rock star or even tamasha i think uh, it's extremely well crafted his work um i'm also a big bahubali fan so probably i would love to work with uh, ss rajamouli i think he is phenomenal too as a director um yeah so ranveer sanjeev lila bansali and ss rajamouli perfect and uh, a few people also want to know if you have a secret crush in the industry it's not a secret i'm pretty open about it i have a very big crush on rithik roshan <laughs> Rithik Roshan. All right. Does he know after about war, it? After war, after war, definitely. <laughs> okay. So does Rithik know about <laughs> it? I wouldn't mind if he does know. <laughs> we'll just tag him. We'll just tag him. You must All tag right. him. I have a very big crush on Rithik. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So. a lot of people also want to understand your fitness mantra a lot of young girls and boys starting out they want to know what you do to keep fit i think just be constant don't take those big gaps you take in the middle because uh, once you have a, a two or three day gap from your fitness you get lazy and it's very difficult to get back into routine like for me also when uh, the lockdown initially started for one week i was chilling and it was so difficult for me to get back into my full regime and ever since then i didn't just stop because i know if i stop i'll get back into my hibernation mode so uh, just be constant with your workout maybe a, a sunday or a one one day or two days in a week is max your body does need that rest but try and keep yourself constant Malvika, you told us that your best friend is your sister. All right. So tell yeah. us a little about what has been her role in in your career. How supportive has she been? Uh, how has that the sister chemistry been? So um, she and me have always been hand in hand with our choreograph. Me as a model, 
from uh, her starting as a first show from everything like i've always been her muse and uh, all her photo shoots even her trials are always been done on me before she also takes my approvals on her um, her upcoming collection and same with me if uh, i need to go anywhere i'm so lucky i just need to go to her store okay i want this outfit because everything fits me everything is on size and right. um, uh, she and me had actually shared a, a very sweet bond and right now she's recently got married but um, honestly it doesn't feel that much because i could just call her once and say you know i miss you come home and she's home that same day so we both um, we have a lot of love for each other a lot of respect we um, help each other we push each other in our career to uh, if i'm feeling low if i go like you know today is not a good day for me or if i've had a bad meeting or anything she's my first person i'll call for um, for her to console me for anything be it uh, be it uh, even relationships or anything we're always just to call away to each other and i think a sister bond if you have a great sister bond you don't need a best friend because that's what you have of course of course that is very well said <laughs> perfect talking about squad of course uh, how will the release be handled will it go straight to ott do you have any updates regarding that so um, fortunately or unfortunately i don't know our film shoot is not yet complete we are going back to belarus uh, probably september mid september to complete our shoot of the film because of which it's we can't release it anywhere right now nor ott nor theater uh theaters are anyway shut but uh, we're looking for a theater release so we're hoping for a theatrical theatrical release uh, also because it's an action film uh, there are some movies you can't enjoy at home like uh, for instance suryavanshi or even 83 i mean how can you enjoy india winning their first world cup in the house you need the full uh, surround system and you need uh, the, the, the theatrical experience so right. squad again is an action film we have a helicopter chase and a climax and you need the theater to enjoy squad so i hope it releases in the theater and everything goes smoothly sales smoothly yeah you know, it can't I... be so dreadful also at least something good needs to happen in 2020 correct absolutely fingers crossed we <laughs> hope it comes out soon Malika thank you so much for your time this has been great my pleasure my absolute pleasure it was great chatting with you guys